my name's Rachel, um, and I kind of want to take you on an adventure. See, half of my life I am an EMU student doing 15 credits, that whole shebang, but the other part of me is um, I've been a professional model for the past about two years, and I've been doing both school and modeling at the same time. Uh, I just got out of class. See, I'm a little windblown, um, and I'm going into a shoot, and then from shoot to class. So it's it's definitely an adventure, and I wanted to take you through the process. Now, every model needs a bag that they pack filled with wardrobe, accessories, um, any kind of hair products that you're going to need, hair ties, hairspray, hair gel, hair clips, um, or even strange things like a razor, deodorant. You kind of want to be respectful. So I have my bag here, right there. It's just a standard duffel bag filled with what I'm going to be shooting in. I have my combat boots. Yes. Uh, I have various sweaters, various other shoes, coolest part, lensless glasses. Yes, it's going to be kind of a, a nerdy avant-garde fun kind of shoot. So. That's what you pack, that's your bag. As for what you wear, as you can see, I don't have any makeup on. The makeup artist will want a fresh face and my hair is just kind of what it is because also the hairstylist wants it to be as, um, I guess as plain as possible so that they have something to work off of. And as you can see here, my wardrobe, woo, check out my kicks is just as plain because when we get there, we're gonna do the hair, we're gonna do the makeup, throw in the wardrobe, and then we'll be ready to shoot. All right, let's go. The studio that we shoot in, as you can see, it has a big white backdrop so the photographers can do their artsy fartsy business. We have the lights over there, we have the setup. Over there is the hair and makeup station. Follow the stairs up, you have a bunch of different props. So really, Studios where models work are a lot of fun and why they have such a big space, such a big white space is that it allows both the model and the photographer to be creative in their movements. They're not just stuck in one place. You can wear various different colors, cuts, any, anything you want really because when they go back in to edit the photos, having something, you know, just very plain like that backdrop will really, really help in, I guess, the, the creative process in whatever they wanted to put in, what kind of colors, shadings they wanted to do. The lights, look at these suckers. Now there are several different styles and sizes of lights that photographers use. They set them at various different angles, temperatures, exposures, all of that good business in order to get the look on the model they want. If they want it up, shining down, it just it varies on what kind of shadows you want to create for the model depending on the style of shoot you are doing. So that's a little walkthrough of a photo studio. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,